The Road to Kentucky Derby 149 presented by Woodford Reserve lands in the Crescent City of New Orleans for Saturday's Grade 3 $200,000 LeCompte. Joe Christobek and Scott Shapiro joining you and uh, Dennington for trainer Ken McPeak is a late closing sort that's involved in this year's edition of the LeCompte. He's only one for six lifetime, Scott, but he does have some very good company lines. He sure does. He got that win three back over the off going at Churchill Downs. Then finished fifth, but beaten less than two lengths in the Kentucky Jockey Club. The instant coffee was the morning line favorite in here. And then last time out in the Smarty Jones, he ran a well beaten third, but it was somewhat circumstantial. The winner was dominant on the front end, Joe, in victory in formation. Dennington finishing well, beaten six lengths. We'll see if he can move forward here. Now, Ken McPeak's going to put the blinkers on for the first time in Saturday's LeCompte against the riding services of Corey Lannery, who won this race in 2016 with Mo Tom. I think he's up against it, that being Dennington from a win perspective, but I do think he makes some sense to include underneath in the exotics. Corey Lannery, he'll be saving ground throughout. He's been riding extremely well this winter, being back in New Orleans. And also, this is a horse that has shown the ability to finish at two turns. I don't think we can say that for everything in the race. 28 6 4, two points on the road to Kentucky Derby 149, presented by Woodford Reserve. Den Bennington's lone win came in the slot. Maybe some rain in the forecast for Saturday, so do keep that in mind. Saturday's card at the fairgrounds has a huge one. 14 races. The finale is a LeCompte. The silver bullet day for the Phillies on the road to the Longines Oaks. Just two races earlier. Best of luck and enjoy it.